this is a micrometer. It's uh, more accurate still than even a vernier caliper. And it goes, or it works on a principle that uh, the screw here very slowly opens and close, closes the mouth, the item which you place items into to take measurements from. And it's a little bit awkward to use at first. Now, just like any type of measurement device, there is a zero mark. And it lines up with a tick mark. Let me see if I point to it. Right there. Right now, the object is closed. It's measuring the width between the two sides of it at zero. Now, take a look here. This tells you how accurate you can measure it. This says it can measure things between zero and 25 millimeters, but it can do so at an accuracy of 0 0.01 millimeters. The vernier caliper could measure something at an accuracy of 0 0.1. A meter stick can measure something at about an accuracy of 1 millimeter, no more accurate. This thing is 10 times as accurate as even a vernier caliper. To open this thing and to read it, you rotate this object. Now the number should be getting bigger. You start at 0, go to 5, go to 10, and as you do that, on the left side, you should see that this thing is starting to open. Okay. If you just start flinging it open, sometimes it's hard to tell where you're at. So let's slowly open this thing and get the readings going. Now, this thing goes up by increments of 5. You can go up by 1, but I'm just saying the numbers go up by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And now it goes back to 0. That is not to say this thing has been open 0. If you look over here, it's open less than 0. What this is saying is it's open 50 one hundredths of a millimeter or half a millimeter. If I rotate it around a second time back to the zero mark, this thing is now open one millimeter. So to get one millimeter of opening, this thing has to rotate twice. The tick marks in there, you can see that there's one on the bottom and then it's starting to line up with, if I open a little bit more, you can see it's lined up with one on the top. The one on the bottom is half a millimeter the one on top shows you that you've rotated a full mil mil millimeter. So if I close it back up to where it's lined up with that bottom one at the zero mark, this is half a millimeter. This is a whole millimeter. If I go another whole rotation, I'm now back to uh, another half. But now it's one, is a horrible way to point to it, one point five since it lines up with another one on the bottom. Okay. But sometimes you're not just at one or one point five or two point five, you're somewhere in between. Let's see how this thing can be used to measure something willy nilly. Let's say we didn't we weren't careful. And we open this thing up a certain amount and we go back and we measure our pencil again. We put our pencil in there <laughs> and we start to close it. Now just like the very vernier caliper, you don't want to close this thing so much that you crush the object. You also don't want to leave it open enough. There. It's just barely holding in place. If I loosen it a little bit, the thing falls out. I don't want that. I want it to where it's held in there just enough. Now I take my object, I remove it. There we go. And let's go back and read this. Well, we've opened it quite a bit. The five here says we've opened it up at least five, cent uh, five millimeters. There's another tick on top saying we've opened it at the sixth. We can see a tick on bottom past the sixth millimeter, so we're at least a six and a half. How much past six and a half? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 13 past the six and a half. So that's five, six, six millimeters plus the half, which is 50, plus 16, which is 66. Oh my lord. Out of nowhere we pulled the devil number out. 6.66. Let's try this again. I'd hate to think that these beautiful Ticonderoga pencils are evil. Let's measure something much smaller. Let's say the width of this vernier caliper. Let's put that in there. This is going to be something smaller that would be difficult to measure with a ruler. So we measure it down until it's close. We put our object in there. This is hard to do with two hands. Not like I'd ever have more than two hands. I guess I could ask for help. There, I've closed it just enough to where it's in there, 
but it's not crushing it and it's not falling out. I slide my object out. There we go. Let's make this measurement. Okay, once again, we are past the one on top, so we're a little bit past one centimeter. Or, excuse me, one millimeter. This thing always measures millimeters. How far past one millimeter? Well, I'm not seeing another tick mark on the bottom, so we're not quite to the half. And our zero, or our lines, point to the about the 2.5. So we're 1.25 millimeters. Easy to use, isn't it? Yep, yep. That is all.